London's Festival Hall come experts of 63 countries at war with a common enemy, cancer. The 7th International Cancer Congress is presided over by Sir Stanford Cade, one of Britain's outstanding surgeons who greets the delegates, including two nuns from Texas. The experts come from many different types of organization, but all are concerned with some aspect of cancer treatment or research. The hospitals and clinics in Britain and throughout the world are the headquarters from which the war against cancer is waged. A costly and intricate war whose weapons demand huge sums of money. This electron microscope, for example, is needed to study the basic process of cancer, the abnormal behavior of living cells. Not only research, but treatment too, requires costly apparatus like this cobalt theratron revolving around a patient's affected leg. Medical and surgical staff working on the treatment of cancer require special training, which is another expensive item. But it is all worthwhile because they believe that cancer, the world's biggest killer, can be defeated for good and all. Their confidence is shared by the World Congress, whose president, Sir Stanford Cade, in his opening speech, mentions some of the many problems they will be discussing. Reports will be given on the research of the unstable components of cigarette smoke, on the formation of carcinogens from combustion of cigarette paper, and on the results of cigarette smoking by laboratory animals. But equally important are the studies on atmospheric pollution by smoke, not from cigarettes, but from factory chimneys and chimneys from homes, and from the exhaust gases from motor vehicles. Surely the day will dawn when the toil is accomplished and the last International Cancer Congress will be held, as others will no longer be needed. Thank you.